What's happening people? Welcome to another video on the channel. In this video we're going to be looking at the Otterbox symmetry case for the iPhone 15 Pro Max uh, in the clear version. So this comes in a load of a bunch of different uh, colors and styles but this is the clear version we have in front of us. Um, so here we have it. This is the packaging it comes in. So Otterbox uh, branding here and uh, symmetry series. Uh, with for MagSafe it says here and we have some information here ultra slim ultra fine and it says here three times as many drops as military standard so we should get some good protection with this case and then it says here premium responsive buttons iPhone 15 Pro Max MagSafe and some information on the back as well some information about that uh, drop protection three times as, as many drops as military standard and made with more than 50% recycled plastic which is which is good to see it's good to see uh, Otterbox doing uh, some uh, some good work for the for the environment there by using recycled plastic and i think it says under there raised uh, edges for uh, screen for camera and screen uh, so you get some we're going to get some good protection with this with this case Let's open up the, the box here and take the case out now. So quite nice packaging there, simple packaging. Um, and this is the case itself. The Otterbox Symmetry case uh, in the clear version. Um, nice, very, very nice looking from the outside. And we have a, a silver coloured uh magsafe ring there and it is a clear case so it's nice and you can see your the color of your iphone through here let's bring over our scale and pop it on the scale so 43 grams so nothing uh too heavy but nothing too light at the same time um it's, it will give you some nice protection and um so not super minimal but not crazy crazy heavy either so uh, that's nice to see so let's bring over the iphone 15 pro max in blue titanium and before we put it in the case let's just wipe it down a bit as it is a clear case we want to see obviously a nice clean iphone in there and um, so yeah let's just pop it in now So it's quite easy to install and this is how it looks on the phone. As you can see this is the I have the blue titanium iPhone and you can see that color shining through nicely there and uh, it's nice because if you have one of the iPhones this year you probably want to show off the color of it especially if you have you know one of the new colors maybe the natural titanium or the blue titanium so you do get to show off the the color of your iphone which is pretty cool so here we have it let's look at let's go around the the phone case let's just check out the buttons first yep nice and tactile buttons there i do i do like those buttons they're really tactile the power button the power button isn't as tactile as these buttons on this side i'd like to see them make the power button a bit more tactile um, this isn't um, impressing me too much uh, I don't really like how this button performs on this side compared to these these are really nice and tactile um, but I think Otterbox uh, need to improve the power button and just make that a bit more tactile uh, let's look at our cutouts down the bottom yeah nice and accurate cutouts as you can see nothing to worry about there and let's check out the fit that corner does come off quite easily um, a little bit too easy i'd like to see that just made a little bit more tighter i'd like to see a bit more of a tighter fit on there um, but nothing too crazy it's not too bad at all and this corner is a little bit more tighter 
you do get some nice snaps on the corners. Which is quite good. So I don't think you've got anything to worry about in terms of the fit uh, with this case. Um, and let's just check out the sides. A bit more pull near the buttons. But this is the kind of fit you would expect with any sort of clear case. You're not going to get a super, super tight fit. Um, yeah, a bit more pull around the buttons again. And the rest of the case is uh, is okay. A bit more pull down the bottom as well. But overall, it's not a bad fitting case. And I suppose if, if you were to take the case off, it's not too hard to take the case off as well, which, uh, which is always a good thing. Um, you don't want to be fighting with your case to try and get it off your phone. Let's look at our screen protection. And um, yeah, you do get a decent screen lip, as they mentioned on the packaging. We do have some raised lips there for... Uh, a good screen protection there so that's pretty good when you when put your phone down like this uh, you will go you will get some good screen protection there um, looking at our camera protection now and as you can see there is a decent camera lip there it's not a massive massive lip but you get just enough to protect your uh, camera lenses there so when putting your phone down like this uh, you've got nothing to worry about in terms of your, your camera lenses. Um, how does it feel in the hand? It feels pretty good in the hand, actually. Um, it feels like, obviously, it's not the slimmest case in the world. Uh, it does add a bit of bulk around, around the sides. Uh, but at the same time, it's not too uncomfortable to hold. You do get some nice grip. The back is fairly grippy and the sides are as well. Um, so you, it, that's good to see. You do get some good grip with this with this phone case, um, and it feels fairly comfortable to hold in the hand as well. So if you do drop your phone quite a lot, I think you're gonna like this case. Um, you will get some good protection, um, as they mentioned on on the packaging as well. You get three times the military um, standard in terms of uh, dropping uh, the phone. So if you do drop it, you will get some good protection in this. Um, let's test out the MagSafe. Let's bring over the Anchor 622 MagSafe battery and let's pop it on the back. As you can see, it's charging, so it works perfectly fine with MagSafe. And let's just check out how strong the, the connection is. I'm just shaking it now, normal shakes. Just shake it a bit faster. And uh, yeah, the MagSafe is, is quite strong on this case. Shake it a bit faster now. And it's moving a little bit just on the on the back of the phone so it has moved a little bit just out of place but it hasn't come off uh, so that is quite impressive i think the magsafe on this is is quite strong yep it passes that test uh magsafe is looking quite strong on this let's bring over the mag easy grip from pitaka and pop it on the back so let's just give it a bit of a shake and see how strong it is yeah, so if you're using something like the, the MagEasy Grip um, on your phone, then you've got nothing to worry about. The, the phone's not going anywhere. Um, it's really, really strong. So I'm quite impressed with the MagSafe uh, on, this, on this case. Overall, would I recommend this uh, to anyone? It's hard because there's so many uh, great clear cases on the market. I think the Spigen Ultra Hybrid is, is a great uh, clear case. I'm not too sure in terms of the yellowing of this, uh, I think uh, Autobox mentioned they uh, there is some technology in there to prevent yellowing. Um, so I don't know. You guys, let me know if you have a, if you've had this case in the past or you have it now. How does it do in terms of yellowing? Uh, does it yellow or, or not over time? Um, that'd be interesting to know. But if it doesn't yellow, then you know I would recommend this over maybe the Spigen Ultra Hybrid. It is a bit more pricey. I think you can pick up the Spigen Ultra Hybrid for about uh, 16, 17 pounds, whereas this one is uh, retailing for about 30 pounds. But if you can get it with the discount, maybe you can pick it up for about 25 pounds. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a good case overall. You get some good protection with this, and but there's so many great clear cases. Like I mentioned, the Spigen Ultra Hybrid, the Taurus, they make a great clear case as well. Um, 
so there's there's a lot of competition out there for clay cases but i can say i, I could recommend this case um i think it does everything really really well just want to see that power button a little bit more tactile but maybe over time it will uh, break in a bit more and become more tactile um so if Otterbox can improve on that for next year that would be good but I, I would have no problem in recommending recommending this case to anyone i think it's a solid option for a clear case if you don't mind spending a little bit more for this it is obviously definitely still cheaper than the apple clear case and i think this is a, a good option um compared to that one uh the apple clear case has really really stiff buttons i wouldn't recommend that clear case to anyone but i can recommend this one um so if you're looking for a clear case this is a good option check it out try it out for yourselves and uh you won't be disappointed in my opinion so guys that's it for this one i hope you found this video helpful if you did please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you for supporting the channel and thank you for watching take care guys bye